whenever you all are ready. Can you describe what you've put together? Yeah, so we made a racing game, and basically you have to go a certain distance, and the goal is to get it on, like as fast as you can, and you have an accelerator and a stop, um, like a brake and accelerator um, that you can press, and it'll speed up the lines and speed up the car, and it'll stop the car and stop the lines from showing, so that's kind of just like a stop and a go fast. And then um, that will also allow you to finish faster. Okay. And then something. we have the wheel that is controlled um, using like the IMU, and that basically turns the car from like left to right. So IMUs. Yeah. Up there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and then we have a potentiometer. And we the, we also yeah. have like buttons that um, basically start the game, and then like you can change the setting. But as you play the game, like as you progress, like uh -huh. the setting changes from like daytime to like sunset, sunset night. And okay. Like, yeah, it's like pretty cool. Cool. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we can start. And we have a progress at the top, which is how far you've gone and how close you are so to the end. So basically, the lower the time, the better, because the whole point of the game is to try to like avoid the obstacles yeah. while getting like the least amount of time possible. So if you hit an obstacle, it you get increases the, the time, time by five, which is why five shows up. And then I could show the brake pedal working. <sighs> So you're pushing that pedal and that slows the car down. Right. And then this speeds the car up. And you push the other one and you accelerate. Yes. Yeah. And the rank is based off of how fast you finished, so what your time was. Yes. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if you get it under 40 seconds, you get gold. If you get it between 40 and 70, it's silver. 70 and above, it's um, bronze. Yeah. Cool. And, okay, so, so the pedals, these are... Potent like hinges with springs that are pushing on potent sliding potentiometers. Yes. Okay. So, am I correct that each of these goes to an ADC on? Yeah. I'll get a view. The Pico looks like it's back there. Sorry. That's okay. To turn it a bit. Yes. Yeah, so back there's the Pico. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gotcha. And yes, we're reading the ADC um, to get the voltage value from the pedals. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. And there's a nice, would you mind restarting the game just so, there's a nice sort of 3D effect that you have. Yeah. Where the the lines appear to get wider as they approach. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, the so does the obstacles too. Yeah. The obstacles also slide on the side so that you can't cheat the game. So you can't just stay on the side. And sure. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So it would just go down. Um, as. For the lines, uh, we made it so that after one um, line kind of reaches like the middle of the road, the next mm -hmm. one is queued to start going so that both of them are like continuously going. Um, so there is a line struct. There's also a structure for um, the obstacles as well. Um, and with our obstacles, we have three types that are differentiated by size and I guess also color. Uh -huh. um, so they have a certain like height and width and they um, all increase uh, around the same width same rate, I guess, like as it goes down the road. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you hit the side of an object? <coughs> I, you know, object? If you hit the object face on, you lose points. What happens if you slam into the side? Of it? You also lose points. Yeah. Okay. So the way that we um, count whether you hit an obstacle is essentially like based off the car's position. Mm -hmm. So if the car um, kind of matches the like boundaries of the obstacle, then mm -hmm. um, it erases and you yeah. have a if any corner is within the car, then it just... So you're yeah. looking for overlap? Yes. Any overlap between car and obstacle is collision? Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome. It's, it's quite smooth. The it is quite smooth. It's very smooth. Thank oh, and that... Are you toggling through the various the times of day there? Yeah. yeah. And then it'll also toggle as you're playing to change. That's cool. Yeah. That sunset one's a very kind of vaporwave aesthetic. Vaporwave. I love vaporwave. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <coughs> awesome. And then I am you on the top, which this is I two C, correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Really cool. Awesome. Anything else you want to say about it, or is that about sum it up? Um, I think that about I sums, think it up. sums up everything. Where'd you get the wheel? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <It was> borrowed. <laughs> borrowed the wheel yeah. from a race. Uh, Project team. Team. The yeah. race car team. Yeah. Very cool. We were thinking originally of using like a wood block, but they were like, nah, like we need yeah. to add the aesthetic, you know what I mean? So. That's really nice. Yeah. Really nice. Cool. Thank, Thank you, you all. You.
Oh, I see. So this sets the car's velocity, right? Yes. Yeah. Or like basically it, like, like, the frame rate. The, like, um, obstacles and road goes essentially. So it's like yeah. an illusion of how fast it's going. Um, the car itself is um, kind of being turned at the same like rate depending on like how far you turn it. Okay. Um, and, then, and then the car doesn't draw until you start moving again. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's why it kind of like Ooh. disappears. Right disappears. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it, if you hit a uh, hit an obstacle, it like oh, oop, it kind of glitched. But um, yeah. <laughs> that when you... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So if you hit an obstacle, I think what, what was I gonna say? Well, you add time. Yeah, you add five seconds. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it's what below yeah. thirty is like silver. Wait, no. Below thirty, 30 is, is gold. gold. No, yeah. Below forty is gold. Oh, yeah. 40 to 70 is silver. 70 to something is bronze. Yeah. Yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you.